Have you felt sad recently? Over time, I've learned to take the feeling as it comes, accepting it like a wave, rising and falling. There isn't always a solution. As for me, I find comfort in nature, and in spring, my spirit particularly yearns for flowers. Blue flax blooms just outside my front door, and it is one of my favorite flowers of the season. One day, when I needed to raise my spirits, I picked a bouquet to bring home, so to inspire my creativity. And just like that, I felt better, my soul more rested, my mind at peace. We are living in such a crazy time right now, and I know it is very upsetting and very difficult for so many people, myself included. There are times this year that I've found myself worrying about the future and for humankind, and is always worrying about the planet. Sometimes it becomes too much to bear, and I find that that is the most important time to go outside and take a walk. It's something so simple, and yet I find again and again that it's the answer I need. You have no control over the actions of others, and I think that is the root of a lot of the anger that people feel right now. I've accepted that I cannot control the spirit of someone else. However, every time that I feel frustrated about the actions of others, I know that the one thing that I can control is my own spirit and that I have complete control over that. And that is liberating. I think it's also such an important message for everyone to hear that you have at any time the potential to become someone you are proud of someone who is kind and courageous, someone who is compassionate. We can become that person. I wasn't always the person that I most admired, and now I am, and I'm very proud to say that. I'll tell you one thought that I found really comforting, and it is, if at the end of your journey, your life journey, all you can say that you have achieved is a life that has been lived by kindness, and compassion, then you have lived one of the best lives of all time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My intention was not to make a sad video and I hope it is not sad to you. My intention was to share a little bit of the words that I say to myself that make me continue feeling hopeful and fighting despair. So, thank you all.